Okay everybody, Balgan Stondreg here, back with some more Kingdom Death action. Um, looking like all doom and gloom this time I'm afraid. Uh, as some of you viewers may remember, last time our bunch of survivors set out to hunt the Screaming Antelope here. And during the hunt they passed through a field of ticks, midges, mozzies, the lot, you know, and basically three of them were drained of all their survival points. So, things are looking pretty bleak. However, as fate would have it, the antelope is distracted here by the corpse of some other creature, perhaps another antelope, maybe they were a mated pair, and it's gazing sadly upon the fallen carcass, allowing the survivors to sneak up and place themselves wherever they want. So, just a reminder for people, before I build the deck, here we have Alistair, he has a bone blade, rawhide headband, rawhide vest, and a piece of cloth to gird his loins. Um, he's one of the more better equipped survivors, so let's actually place him somewhere up. So the monster, the fallen carcass, allows the survivors to be placed anywhere they want on the board. Um, so he's actually going to be brave. Because, yeah, it's a horrible monster. Uh, oh, he also has no survival points due to that horrific incident on the way here. We have Zachary, he has a bone axe and a piece of cloth. Yeah, he's kind of vulnerable. Let's put him right round behind it where he can give this creature a right good pummeling. Uh, he also has no survival points. We have Lucy, she's back again. Um, she's got some rawhide boots, a piece of cloth and a bone dagger and no survival points. And she also has a permanent strength penalty so she's going to be doing a lot less damage. She may actually provoke more reactions than, um, oh, this is going to be horrible, isn't it? I should have given, yeah, I'm kind of wishing that I could redistribute some equipment. Uh, because here we have Velia, who's going to place herself in a, a more attention-grabbing position, hopefully. She's got a full set of rawhide armor and a founding stone as a weapon, which is not the most deadly and dangerous thing in the world. But, hey, there aren't enough weapons to go around yet, okay? So, ow, what else does the, the monster, the dead monster is drawn during the showdown setup, so I may start with a showdown anywhere on this board, and survivors may go first. I think they definitely want to just hammer into it, lay into it, because, so, yeah. So, uh, basic cards, seven. So here's my feeling about the antelope, right? Um, it's dangerous, obviously. All monsters are dangerous, right? That's why we call them monsters. And free advanced cards. So, the, as I've mentioned before, I believe the lion is the shredder, the one that will be the death of a thousand cuts. You know, it rakes, it, it shreds, it rips, it tears. The lion's mostly about physical attacks, right? With a bit of intimidation. And I need to separate these out and shuffle the lot. Uh, so I'm hoping that the antelope isn't just about some kind of, you know, like a massive, much tougher creature, but rather that it, um, you know, I'd rather it was different as opposed to being a big power level or a big step up in difficulty, right? Um, so I'm hoping that it's going to be more, uh, you know, more intimidation attacks, more psychological attacks, less about the physical damage or at least less attacks per attack, you know, so lower speed. Um, and of course flipping this over and its basic attack is actually the same as the lion so it's going to be all about the AI cards so I'm hoping it'll have more moods and more psychological attacks and less physical attacks however I do know that we get to have fun with some uh, big gobbled up cards uh, for the big gaping mouth on the bottom which I will leave on standby but it gets the trample mood in play. So when it collides with a survivor, they suffer damage equal to a level to a random hit. Okay. Um, that's not dissimilar to the lion's drag. So it'll, it can just trample over people and, and kick them and stomp as it goes. Okay. So here we have our monster. Here we have our survivors. So basically Velia has all the armour. <laughs> and a whopping uh, 
two whole survival points here. Okay, so what's the dream here? Obviously, the dream is nobody dies, right? Just trying to keep everyone alive. Uh, just dem demolish this creature. Um, the, you know, the secondary goal is no permanent injuries. So try and keep people alive, no permanent injuries, right? Um, third priority, yeah, kill the monster. But obviously that would enable the first two goals rather significantly as well. <laughs> I, I'm kind of, yeah. So it's time to start throwing in a lot of attacks. Now, attacking the creature can cause it to, you know, rotate to face. So these two around the back, I'm going to have to endeavour to make sure that they end up behind whatever happens. Which means if I have these two tag team it, I can get them around behind wherever it goes. So let, let's actually start with Alistair, because he's got his big bone sword. Um, so, two dice. And as you may remember, Urza is back at camp because she was doing nasty, horrible things with Monster Grease and no one wanted to let her out this time. <laughs> I suspect when we get back to camp, the remainder of the survivors will be saying, look, get this horrible woman away from us. And she'll be going out on the next hunt. Because she's a bit of a psycho. Yeah, so he's got his sword. Uh, he's got one luck, so he'll... So nines for criticals on wound rolls, but okay. Um... Accuracy is sixes, so that's one hit. This is the first time I get to experience these cards. To the giant tongue, which has two less toughness than everywhere else. Oh, great. There is a wound result. Wonderful. We will critical on nines. Okay. And it has a toughness of eight, just like the level one lion. That is... Two strength from the sword, so yes, that is a wound. There's a wound result. Uh, blood and spittle erupt from the screaming antelope's wounded undermore. So that's the mouth below its, its underside there. Um, if a wound roll result is even, suffer a brain damage. If it's odd, gain one insanity. It was odd, so he gets a point of insanity. Well, he's racking them up. That'll put him on a mighty five hole points now. But he's probably going to need it because it's probably about to scream all over the place and traumatise everyone. I mean, who can blame it? It's just been smacked in the mouth, you know. Okay. And he wants to move one, two, to here, just to make room for the others. So it didn't turn around and attack, so that's good. Uh, Velia will strike with her founding stone. Now the founding stone is a shockingly inefficient weapon. Uh, speed to hitting on sevens with a strength of one. Not a lot of hope here. Hey! Two hits. Um, so this is looking good, right? This is looking positive. Yeah, nobody's died yet. I mean the monster hasn't had a turn. Oh, and I should apply the wound, shouldn't I? There we go. Um, right, no specials there. So two hits, oh god. At least it's not a trap card. So we have the shoulder and the tail. Right, there's no reaction on the tail, so we'll do the tail first. Uh, so it's got a toughness of eight, strength of two, one on the stone, so sevens. Well, that's what tail got. Um, there's no special on the tail, so. The good thing is I'm removing these AI cards, right? So it, it's reducing the amount of damage it can do to us. Um, then we have the shoulder. There is a reaction, a wound reaction. She fails to wound the shoulder. So that's good, actually. That's better. Um, so now we've got these two. You know, she's not going to move because she wants to stay there and be the, the most imminent threat. You know, get the monster's attention, get hit, because she's got the armour, she's got the survival points, she's trying, she's trying to stay alive. Also, because she has a full set of rawhide armour, and this is the beauty of the set, when she spends survival, she has a chance to keep it. 
So when she spends survival, she gets to roll a d10, and on a six or higher, she gets a point of survival back. So basically, you know, it, it's almost as if those two points might actually stretch out to three, maybe four if we're really lucky, right? Obviously, I may have to use that to encourage people to get up, but I'm hoping that for now I just, um, you know, get to keep everyone alive, really. Um, and, and obviously the usual thing with survival points, don't waste them if you get hit somewhere where you've still got life boxes left, unless it's going to prevent a critical wound. So, yeah, dodging for severe wounds only, anything else we can handle, right? Um, so, Lucy there, with the bone dagger, gets three whole dice, and... Da, 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 da. No perfect hits, two hits, uh, to the pallet and the restless inner thigh. Uh, there's a failure state on the pallet. Yeah, get bit. Let's let's avoid that. Okay, and uh, a wound on the. Oh, okay, the wound's a good one. Right. So yeah. Uh, so dagger to the thigh. Gonna try and seven plus one for the dagger is eight. This is a wound. This is great. We're doing well here. Uh, attack causes monsters powerful running. Uh, Disables the monster's powerful running muscles. The screaming antelope gains a minus one movement token. And this is... This could rack up. Let's see? Um, let's see, movement is about... Yeah. Okay, minus one movement. Um... So that's, it, there's a critical wound which is even worse. Um, so it's probably got some way to remove that minus one movement token, otherwise it's just gonna, if it keeps getting wounded there, uh, yeah, you know. So uh, the pallet, so reaching into the mouth to stab the upper portion of the, oh dear God, she failed. Um, spend one survival to react quickly or suffer free damage to the arm location. Oh my god. Yeah, well, she would spend survival points, but due to that horrific hunt event, she doesn't have any. So, she suffers one, two, three to the arm. Uh, so that's a light, a heavy, knocked down, and severe injury. Here comes the pain. So, yeah, I kind of knew that losing all those survival points was pretty much tantamount to someone dying and it's a shame because she's been a very good member of the community. Um, of course I say this now, but let's actually roll it. Seven. Hey, not too bad. Broken arm. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Uh, minus one accuracy, minus one strength. Uh, oh god, she had minus one strength. I forgot about that. Okay, so up now she has minus two strength, and this is a permanent injury. Right, well basically she's not going to be doing a lot of damage this encounter, she might as well go around harvesting the plants. Um, because that's a thing. There are many plants surround the antelope, and it will wish to nuzzle and graze them with its muzzle, with its wounded tongue. Obviously because it's gone beyond heavy injury, she is knocked down. And that's not a, that's not an attack reaction, so it doesn't actually turn around. Oh my god, maybe it was the wrong mouth she was trying to wound, and yeah, I, I can see how that would have hurt quite a bit. Okay. Uh, so then Zachary with his bone axe will attempt to cause some more injuries to this thing. Because it is a horrific, horrible monster. Well, that's one hit. It is a strength-free weapon, so that's a good thing, right? The restless, tiny hands. So there's little grabby hands on the underbeast and belly of the thing. Probably to grab people and shove them into the mouth. Um, yeah, the guy who designed this seems to have a major thing about hands. I don't know why. Maybe he doesn't like being touched or something. Um, anyway. 
Oh, there's some outstanding... De no, no, that's not outstanding damage because they had... Wait, was there a hunt event that gave them brain damage? Huh. No, because they, they have insanity points, so that is something I haven't tidied up from last time. Okay. Of course, now I'm probably going to look back at the footage from the hunt and find out what it was. But anyway, time to now fail to wound this mighty beast. Uh, there is a failure reaction. Yeah. While he's failed, uh, grasping tiny hands, knock your weapon away, spend an action to retrieve your lost weapon before it can be used again. Okay, so he's going to have to pick it up next turn. Great. He might as well stay there because... Um, otherwise it could potentially turn on Lucy and maul her even further. So, as I mentioned, she appears to be getting all the courage and understanding, but just degenerating rapidly as a physical character. So maybe she'll be good to keep back in the settlement and do all the, the settlement events for the psychological ones to help keep everyone else's spirits up. She can tell stories of her experiences on the two hunts she's been on. Anyway, Antelope gets a turn. Slam. Closest knockdown survivor. What did I say? Okay. Um... Is it worth using a point of value survival to stand Lucy up to avoid her taking any more damage? Um, well, as long as she doesn't... No, she could get hit in the arm again. So, yes. Um, spend a point of survival there to yell, Get up! No! No! Look out! as it's rearing to stampede. There goes a survival point. Yes. Ah, but full rawhide set, six or higher. I get to keep it, I get to keep it. Awesome, it was worth spending after all. <laughs> so, furthest threat in field of view. Oh look, it's Alistair. So it'll go, bruh. Ah, one, two plus, yeah, it got him. However, he does a plus one evasion, so it needs a three. So it's actually a miss, uh, because the bone blade, the rawhide vest, and the rawhide headband synergize to give plus one evasion from the rawhide vest. Uh, so something I should also mention, Relia gets the same synergy from her gear over there, and also the full set is, yeah, she's just like armoured up, isn't she? In fact, I haven't applied a full set of armour yet. I haven't updated the gear stats very well at all. Right. Well that was the monster's turn. Back to the humans. Well, Alistair's going to pick up his axe and back off a little because he can. Um, Lucy's going to move to here and attack with her dagger. If she gets it to turn round, that will let Alistair attack from behind. So attacking from behind grants plus one to hit, and I need to remember that. So, yeah, two misses. They aren't gonna... She's got minus one accuracy as well. I mean, she's kind of crippled at this point as far as survivors go. Still alive, though. So we're doing well here. Okay. Alistair will... draw... I would say, you know, try and draw his blade across its flesh, cutting chunks out of it, but we'll see. Um, sword attacks. There's a hit. Um, restless ear. If you have a club or shield, you club on once again, plus two luck when attempting to wound this location. You, no, bone blade. Oh well. Uh, bone blade strength two. Ah, now, him and Zachary got some stat upgrades. He got Plus one luck. Anyway. So, nines will critical, and a nine there is. And no, my luck, that's rolled completely out of shot. Uh, critical wound, persistent injury, dazed. If the monster would draw AI, roll a d10, on a result of eight plus screaming antelope confuses itself, and instead makes a full move forward in a straight line. Okay, 
So that's a critical injury, which obviously takes another card off the eye deck as well. We're doing well here, there's not too many cards left. And he'll move out of the way in case it goes trundling along here. Um, right, so that leaves Velia to move in and attack with her piece of rock from the floor. Yeah, she's getting a better weapon after this, trust me. Two misses. Okay, back over to the antelope, which will stomp and snort. Random survivor in range. Right. Uh, Lucy's in a blind spot, we have three. So one, two, three, D3, so one to three is Alistair, four to six is Velia, seven to nine is Zachary, and on a ten we'll reroll. That is Zachary. Okay. Intimidate target. Begin to stomp and snort excitedly. The gurgling moan sounds from its under mouth. Turn to face target and roll d10. It is, as I expected, intimidation. We have brain damage coming on here. On a 4 plus, it rolled a 1. If a target is insane, they suffer knockback 5. That's interesting. So, because it doesn't need to succeed in dealing brain damage to knock back an insane survivor. So, this, this can cause insane survivors to be held at bay and, and stop coming in to attack. Uh, back to the human's turn. So, Lucy's going to go one, two, three, four, five and investigate this plant because she doesn't want to get murdered by the monster anymore. Uh, if you have a sickle instead of two, no, so just one roll. Uh, ah, one fresh account for a strange resource. And of course now I need to reach into the box. Strange resources. I should probably get those fresher canvas cards ready just in case I get any more of them. I'm not seeing any. Oh, there we go. Right. So I'll go there on a gear grid. And she'll probably regret doing that later as the antelopes um, basic action can be to, to graze on the plants. So taking all the plants is not a good idea. Right. Well, Alistair's going to enjoy some, some rear action, as it were, with his sword. And he's going to miss both times, despite being behind and everything. Uh, he has luck, and Zachary has accuracy. So Zachary has accuracy with his axe. Wow. Bit of a tongue twister. Okay. One, two, three. And hack away. Hugh with all his might. Maybe he'll get lucky and do some damage here. The axe does hit hard, but it's that rare um, critical hit weapon that you... Ooh. Um, he has plus one accuracy, so that five becomes a six. And the axe will hit on sixes. Okay, two hits, which will probably cause some horrific reactions. Okay, the restless back, no reaction, and the restless eye. First strike must let this first. Okay. Uh, massive eyes glisten with human like fear. If the attacker is insane, cancel hits and their attack. He has two points, so he's not insane. Hooray, so he does get to attack. Otherwise, the attacker survives. Okay. One brain damage, so that removes one of those points straight away. But he gets to attack. Okay, interesting. So this monster seems to be about removing... Um, well, now, as I said, about the psychological conditions. So the axe, uh, strength three, um, uh, toughness of eight, so fives will do it. Oh yes, one wound to the eye. Not a critical. So, yeah. Interestingly enough, you'd think that'd be a delicate hit location. And then the the back. If you have a club or shield, nope. Okay, right. Ah, so it, clubs and shields are good against the antelope. I have to remember that. Because uh, that's two hit locations we've had now that have had that weakness. I must say, it hasn't been that devastating yet. Um, we've been very lucky. Uh, so no, rest us back. Uh, five to wound again. No! 
Oh well, it's all right. You know, it, it didn't get a horrific reaction off. So Belly is now going to try with a, a piece of floor stone, founding stone that's been there since the start of the settlement, and two whole hits. Yeah, they're going to be like wound reaction failures. Okay, ferocious spasm, which apparently is a hit location. Ah, wailing slide, a trap. Uh, so we don't need to worry about that, but hey. Uh, screaming antelope panics, its undermouth unleashing an inhuman wail. It bucks wildly and leaps into the air. The attacker is doomed. Fine. Uh, that's a usual thing with traps, you know, can't spend survival against this. All survivors adjacent to Morris wants to suffer two brain damage per monster level, knock back five and are knocked down. Okay, let's do these one at a time. So Zachary, one, two, three, four, five, gets knocked back to there. And two brain damage, he has one point of insanity left and one brain damage, so not into trauma and stress yet. Alistair has five points of insanity, so he'll just lose two. And go back. One, two, three, four, five, and be knocked down. And finally, Velia, who I suspect... Oh, she has two points of insanity, exactly. I'm very fortunate here today. Um, we've had a serious permanent injury, which is already worse than I was hoping for. But nobody's dead, right? One, two, three, four, five. So that's a good thing. Right, hopefully. Um, the monster now so it's burning begins to slide on its teeth. Turn the monster directly away from the attacker and full move forward in a straight line. Right. Full move is seven, minus one is six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right to the edge of the board. Um, on collision, non death survivors gain one random disorder in addition to normal collision rules. Okay, so hit location deck gets a reshuffle. Enjoy. And we all know how I love shuffling cards, don't we? Um, so I think it might be best to avoid the beast for a while while it closes. Um, the antelope now, of course, gets its turn. Wait, did Valia? Yeah, she caused that. She did a go. Uh, back kick. In blind spot, in range, no. Closest threat in range, no target, graze. Fine. Uh, graze. Full moves to the closest canvas plant and ends its turn. Awesome. There we go. I didn't even have to count squares there, straight in there. Um, if the monster is on or adjacent to an canvas plant, archive the train, heal one wound. Okay. Healing a wound. Does that go back on top of the deck or on the bottom of the deck? I don't know, but I'm going to put it on the bottom. Wait, wait, wait. I, I, I don't know, so I should look it up and check like any good board gamer, right? <laughs> H is for heal, healing, more, heal legs. Um, bottom of the AI deck without looking. Yeah, cool. So it gets a card back. And it gobbles up that lovely acanthus plant. Nom 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 nom. Goes for monster and it regenerates some of its mysterious wound power. Yep. Um. Okay. Um. Ah. Oops. I put it in on the hit location discard instead of the die. It made it out. It's all sorted now. Right. Humans. Well, three of them are knocked down. <laughs> and one really doesn't want to be next to the monster. Um, so she's going to go one, two, three, four, five, and take a risk investigating this dead monster and hope she doesn't roll too low. Uh, six. One random basic resource. Okay. So the dead monster had something salvageable, basic resources. She is gathering resources, so yeah, she should just focus on that, you know. Um, a broken lantern. 
Aha. Uh -huh. All these broken lanterns are likely to come in eventually useful, but not right now. Uh, wait. French Acanthus. Archive this to fully heal one hit location, including injury levels and armor points. And she has, like, taken heavy arm injury. You know what, this herb doesn't actually have any... I don't think it has any crafting purpose. So, sure. It doesn't seem to be an action to um, consume it, so she'll just eat that. And regain her health points, because, you know, taking that hit early on was pretty nasty. I think the, the broken arm still remains. But... At least she can take another couple of arm hits relatively safely. Uh, right, so they now stand up. And the antelope gets another turn of sheer unremitted horror. Should we unremittent? Unremittent. Infested trait. When this comes to play, once again, it's a plus one toughness token. Oh, joy. That's all we needed, isn't it? So, monster, toughness, yeah, we're going to have to get in there with the heavies, heavy weapons, really. That'd be Alistair and Zachary. Um, discovering the ticks is gruesome. Roll on d10 for each survival. Oh, goodness sake. Right, Zachary does not find this disgusting in the least. He's brave. Um, Velia. Oh, yeah, that's pretty freaky. Um, yeah, she is disgusted and, and cowers in terror as that brain damage box is ticked, returning to the prone position. Oh, joy. Lucy, yep, she's pretty disturbed. And likewise, she's going to go to ground. And Alistair. Yep, he's now down to one point of insanity. So I was, I think my assumption that this fight is going to be all about the psychological things and the brain disorders is um, proving fairly accurate so far. Um, I don't know how it's going to go in the long run, but we might as well, you know, I mean, other antelopes later on might have a different set of abilities. At least it hasn't totally killed any of the people with no survival yet. So back to the human turn. Well, two, two, two characters are down. Uh, they get up at the start of the next monster phase. So Alistair's gonna. So we want to leave as many of the plants. Well, we don't really, because leaving the plants for the monster to eat means that it doesn't eat us, but it it all always attacks with it. Well, no, it's default action. If there are no acanthus plants on the shed on board, instead, but you know what? Yeah, we should we should get those plants fast because it's dangerous. Um, Zachary cannot one, two, three, four, five cannot reach it this turn, so he's going to get in there and go for a plant because um... oh, one fresh acanthus, strange resource because you know he might get. He doesn't have any armour, really, so to speak, and could do it for protection. Um, Alistair has some armour. And he will go one, two, three, four, five, and use his Rawhide Headband to reveal the top two AI cards and place them back in order of my choice. Uh, we have Bolt and Ravenous. Um, Ravenous. Oh, God. Okay, it's monster turn next. Ravenous, it eats gear. So we want to destroy that of wounds really quickly. And Bolt is totally fine. So I'll put them back like that. <coughs> oh, bit of an awkward throat today. Right. And now the monster's turn. Oh, look. It's the Bolt card. Now, closest knocked down survivor is Lucy. Great. Just great. Um, yeah. Okay, so it's got minus one movement, so it goes one, two, three, four, five. 
Um, and then it will attack. Uh, hitting on twos. You have the usual monster stuff. Yep. So she has struck in the head for one damage, which is okay. I mean, it's a heavy blow, but it's it's no serious yet. And then afterwards, full move it in a straight line away from all survivors. Well, that's very difficult to do because it's surrounded on all four sides. Uh, the obvious spaces are out here and out here. Um, in a straight line. So in a straight line, we'll take it directly to Zachary or near to Velia, but not directly towards her. So let's go with that. Also, because she has armor and is knocked down. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, because it has minus. Oh, it's only moved six, so five. That means it might. Oh, don't worry about it. It's happened now. Yeah, the past is past. What's done is done. Um, yeah, it may not have reached her, but it might have done. Okay. So our, our goal at this point is to take this AI card away from it before its next turn as effectively and efficiently as possible. And I think Alistair's the only one who can do it, to be honest. Because um, Lucy's down, so she'll get up at the end of the turn. Zachary can't reach at all. So, one, two, three, four, five. I mean, he could go for another plant, but one's kind of enough now. Leave it there for someone who's badly injured, right? In fact, actually, yes, that means next time Lucy will get up and eat that plant, hopefully. Uh, so, Alistair will rush in with his sword. One, two, three, four, five. And attempt to lay into it savagely, because it's a pretty horrific beast, as we've already discovered. Um, he has plus one luck, yeah, because Zachary has the accuracy. Uh, anyway, plus one accuracy from behind, because I really need to keep reminding myself that, otherwise I'll just forget again. Okay, so sixes, fives. And of course, now that I've said that, hey, hey, two hits. Wonderful. Okay, where do we get, where do we get? We want one of these to wound. Delicate inverted knee with no hit reaction, and the restless hoof with a failure reaction, um, which would kick him away. So, oh, kick weapon away. So yeah, we'll go for the knee first because it's less likely to. Um, okay, club or shield, again, clubs and shields for antelopes people. Bear that in mind. Uh, it's actually funny because. Uh, if Belia survives this one, she'll be getting shield proficiency. So anyway, criticaling on nines because it's plus one luck. That's a six. Plus two for the sword is eight. It has a toughness of eight and a plus one toughness token, so that fails to wound the knee. So I'm needing a seven here on the hoof, otherwise he will be well and truly shafted. Ah. What did I just say? What did I just say? Disaster. Right, um, yeah, his weapon is kicked out of his hands, he has to... It, it's just like what happened to Zachary. Uh, has to spend a action to retrieve the weapon before it can be used again. Uh, and if suffering, you know, if he was fighting an arm, he'd get a dislocated shoulder, severe injury, which is not good. Hey, I've got a permanent critical injury on this creature which causes it to roll every time it gets an AI card. I had completely forgotten about that. Well now I've remembered. So it's about to draw its AI card. If I can roll 8 or higher. Hey! It doesn't. It just goes like this instead. Oh and of course Velia stood up on the start of its turn. Which is actually really good, because she is Miss Super Tank at the moment, hopefully. Hopefully, right? Yeah, yeah. This is proving pretty disastrous. It's definitely not like fighting the lion, which just like rips and shreds you at close quarters. The antelope kind of runs around, making a lot of noise, freaking people out. But I like it. It's, it's refreshingly different. It's just... So we'll actually send Alistair in first with his sword. Wait. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, to try and injure it again. 
Uh, five to hit from behind. That's a seven and a three, so one lucky blow. To the Restless Shank with a wound reaction. Oh well, I'm trying to wound, but it's going to be difficult. So two strength from the sword. And it has a toughness of nine because it is a hideous beast. No, he fails to wound it, so no reaction there. This is bad because I'm trying to get rid of that that ability to eat people's equipment because that's just horrible. Uh, Lucy should be standing up as well by this point. Uh, she can't reach it. She's just got a dagger, so she's got one, two, three, four, five, and investigate this plant because it's somewhat less deadly. Um, I said that, but some nasty thing hiding in the plant bit her and she takes arm damage. That plant has nothing useful and gets removed. Oh great. Zachary's gonna get as close as he can because he's two, three, four, four, because he's axe first for monster blood. And Velia's gonna try to get its attention by moving to there and jabbing it with a bit of pointy rock. Not the most effective weapon in the world. Not even a hit. Okay, so the antelope gets a turn. Uh, do we get another turn of lucky? No, it gets to draw its AI card. Damn it. Okay, ravenous. Closest survivor. Consumable gear in range. Oh, consumable gear. We haven't got any. Awesome, so it won't actually eat it. I presume the consume that it will do, consuming it will do, will be that consumable gear. So closest survivor in field of view would be Velia because it's facing field of view. So it'll turn to face her. One attack, hitting on twos, uh, except she got plus one evasion from rawhide armor, makes it freeze. And let's just, yeah, that's a hit. Hit to the waist where she can take a point of damage on the armor totally fine so she's doing her job of staying alive quite well here she is not a tina turner fan um or that uh that song from the yeah she is staying alive rather rather effectively not respectively. uh so i better shuffle this deck now that it's all used up uh, at least the humans now get a turn and I think it's time to just surround this thing and pummel it rather effectively before it can do any more damage. So Lucy, the vulnerable person, will go straight to here. Um, yeah, I carried that. It's fine. Um, knife is... The, the bone dagger is three dice. Hitting on sevens. One from behind is sixes, so two hits but they fail to wound a lot. Uh, so the Restless Flank has a reflex. Oh God. Restless Eye must strike first. Oh dear. Okay, she is not insane. She suffers one brain damage. She has no brain damage left. She will fall down and roll on the brain severe result table thing, which is not gonna be fun. Oh, it's just not her day. Then again, you know, everyone lost all their um, survival points in that hunt event, so, you know, I knew this was going to be a rather nasty encounter. Look for black pages. So, a brain trauma table. Um, it's a d10 roll, but it can go up to a 13. That's odd. Maybe there's something to add to it. Um... Yeah. Hmm. See showdown rules. Wound stepped perfectly hits here, yes, we don't um Brain damage. Uh, finally make rolls on the brain trauma table. Um, uh, 
Hmm. I presume there's some uh, character traits or something that can add to it. So, just don't roll too low. Oh, for God's sake. She's dead. Absolutely scared to death. Just traumatised, heart attack. Dead. So there we have our first death, and it wasn't even to mortal wounds either. It was to just sheer horror. You know what? She was such a shining example. Let's look on the positive side, though. Um, it's a milestone event for the settlement. <laughs> you get decide death principle now. Oh joy. And one of our best survivors has gone from being an amazing, wonderful person to dead in the course of you know, one nasty hunt event and then I really, it was just, it was going to happen, right? Uh, might as well carry on with the others now. We shall cherish her memory or nibble her remains, which, yeah, no, we're not monsters, but let's set ourselves aside from those cruel beasts. Um, so Alistair has his bone sword. He might as well get round behind the beast now. A double hit. Come on, let, let's kill this thing dead. Uh, so we have the back and we have a... Okay. And we have the ferocious spasm. Let's, we'll go for the back first. He has plus one luck, so critical on nines. It has a nine for toughness, two strength from the sword. No. The back again is another place that's vulnerable to clubs and shields. So we really want to be investing in those as soon as we can, but unfortunately they require stuff we haven't quite got yet. Uh, and then the ferocious spasm has a reflex on it, so let's just try and... No, no damage there either. Brilliant. So, uh, the reaction is that it attacks everything around it. So attacks failure with a basic action. Two hits to the head and the body, but you know what? She has armor on both those locations, so she's okay. And then Alistair. Now, wait, target each survivor and okay, so. I'll have it attack Alistair first, then attack her, because it should turn to face from, because we want to keep him behind with his sword, keep her in front of her armour. Um, so it hits him as well, twice, except he has plus one evasion from the headband and the vest, so one hit to the legs, of course, the place where there's no armour. And why am I even rolling that? He takes leg damage. It, it's been so long since... Oh, he has a point of armour. Awesome. Why does he have a point of armour? Did I think he had the boots? Yeah, I have not dated their gear to take that into account. So, just just quickly. Here's the body and the head. Um, Zachary has the waist. And, of course, Lucy had the boots, but didn't really help when she was scared to death. And it was a reaction, so I couldn't even use survival to, to dodge it. Actually, she had no survival, because it had been robbed from her by that horrific hunt incident. Yeah. So, Zachary will attempt to accurate it with his axe from behind, because the axe only hits on sixes, so fives now. Oh, hey, look. One hit only. Brilliant hit to the... Oh look! Trap card once again. Um, so it panics, it screams, jumps up in the air. He is doomed. All survivors suffer two brain damage from monsters on knockback for God's sake. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, okay, okay. One insanity, one brain damage. He is not needing to roll for brain trauma. Lucky you. You will not die on a one or two. 
Zachary. And now Velia doesn't even get a turn, this is so cruel. Um, so, yeah, brain damage, brain trauma again, page 87, it's a turn! Ooh, what is this? It's got to be the only good result on the entire table unless you can somehow get above a 10. And of course people are probably screaming at me about some way to get it above a 10, but who knows. Ah, come on, 87. Uh, 10, Frenzy! Okay, one d5 insanity. So obviously d5, I roll a 6, so that's a 3. Um, plus one speed token, plus one strength token. Ignore slow and melee weapons. You may not spend survival, you may not use fighting arts. Damn, he doesn't have any fighting arts. <laughs> what a shame. Can be gained multiple times, last until end of showdown. So plus one speed, plus one strength. Ignore slow, he doesn't have a slow weapon, he has an axe. So... Um, Plus one speed, plus one strength. Ah, oh dear. One, two, three, four, five. And of course, now, the person with all the survival points and the bloody armor is probably going to get scared to death. Fucking hell. Right. Why do I say these things? Why do I say these things? Oh. There's, you know, she's got two survival points and just dead. You know, two survival points, full complement of armor. Wow. Oh, I don't reckon their chances now. Nothing we can do. Just... suffer, really. So, that was an initial good beginning with the ambush. We got to whittle this thing down. We didn't really whittle it down. We hacked into it, did a lot of damage, and then it just... murdered people, really. Joy. Joy of nothing. Yeah, misery is a much more accurate word right about now. Ah, oh, a very promising survivor has perished before they even got to... <sighs> well, you know, I, I should have had them all run away when we got that, that hunt event that stripped everyone of their survival points, but no, I wanted to push on and encounter this monster and, and suffer the worst of it, so here we are. This, is, this isn't even the worst it could do, I'm sure, it's very deadly, and it's its turn. I have a persistent injury here, I will not forget this time. It gets to draw a card. Ravenous. Well, yep, yeah, it's... Oh, closest survivor consumable gear? No, closest survivor field of view? Right, it's going to be one of those two. But it has a minus one movement. And its movement, therefore, is five. One, two... Oh, of course it can reach from both, it was not back five. Okay, so it's going to randomise uh, odds and evens, Alistair's odd. Hooray! It goes to attack Alistair. Because he's got a bit more armour, that's why I said hooray, okay? It's just blech, horrible. Wait, it was a reaction. So they're knocked down, they get up to start the next monster turn off. Oh, right. And doesn't Zachary need to pick up his sword as well? I mean, sorry, Alistair, because he got... I think he does. Right. Ah. Okay, so it attacks. It misses. <laughs> Miraculously, it misses. Right. Okay. Human turn. They both stand up at the end of the human turn. Monster gets to go again. Permanent injury. It gets to draw a card. Okay, infested. Oh, brilliant. It gets another plus one permanent toughness. So 
So now it has a toughness of 10. Yeah, yeah, probably looking at a total party wipeout here at this point. Um, and of course it's disgusting. So, for Alistair, no. For Zachary, no. They don't take brain damage in severe brain trauma rolls. Good. And it draws an AI card, just to make things worse. But it has the restless ear injury, so it gets to draw its card. Oh well. Uh, Bolt. Closest knockdown survivor. No one. Furthest threat. Nope. Graze. Um, with a speed of five, with a five, one, two, three, four, five, it can't reach a plant, so it does a basic attack. Oh no, full move forward in a straight line. So collision. Ah, oh, it stampedes over them both. Wonderful. Um, Alistair is hit in the chest, Zachary in the chest. Oh, crying out loud. And, of course, they are both knocked down. So they'll get up again. And it will be the monster's turn once more. Can the monster draw a card? No, it will not draw a card. Awesome! It will move forward in a straight line. Bump. It hits the edge of the board. It goes no further. Right. Revenge. Alistair picks up his sword. <laughs> that was quick, wasn't it? One, two, three, four. Yeah, sorry, might as well just stay there in a blind spot. What the hell? Now, Zachary doesn't need to pick up his axe because he's still holding it. And he is also berserk. He has plus one speed, so he's getting three attacks now of the axe. And plus one strength, which he's really going to need because this thing has a ridiculous toughness now. Come on, kill it dead. Two hits. Two hit locations. And two hits is not going to go anywhere near finishing it off. There are a wound reaction on each of them. Shoulder. I'll do the shoulder first. <laughs> yeah. Um, so the axe is strength three. Uh, four for frenzy. Well, for berserk. You were just hack at it. Come on, kill this thing. No. Oh well. And the inner thigh, which could give it another speed penalty. Come on, so three and four, needing sixes. No! I, I need to stop calling out the numbers before I roll them. Really do. Really, really need to stop predicting results, otherwise they just happen, it gets horrible, people die, and then the monster wins. We don't want the monster to win, that'd be horrible. Oh look, it's the monster's turn. Uh, it has its restless ear injury. It does not get to draw a card, so it just tries to you just careen into the wall there, up the cavern. And the humans get to go again. So, Alistair has a sword. Why not? No, no, Zachary's berserk. He's just attacking. He has to go first, really. Right, well, that's one hit. Let's see if we can actually get some damage now. That would be really, really nice. It would be so nice. Uh the palette. Oh god, inside the mouth again. Um, there's a failure state, so it's got toughness 8, 2 plus 1 toughness tokens is 10. I should not say this, I should just roll it and hope I would get a 6 or higher. Yes! Injury to the monster! At last, things start to turn around. Yet there are 2 cards in the eye, discard 3. So we need 3, 5, 6 wounds to put this thing down. That is not looking promising. Not at all. Well, Alistair has his sword and he is behind it, so he needs fives to strike the beast. And of course one misses. Should not say these things. There's a failure. A restless tiny ha Oh, bugger, no, he just needs to pick his sword up this turn, doesn't he? He does need to pick his sword up this turn, so he doesn't attack. That'll go back there. I know it's there now, so technically I should move it, but there's nothing I can do about it. So, uh, Monster Turn. Does it get to draw a card? It does get to draw a card. Brilliant, that's all we needed. Stomp and snort, oh for God's sake. Random Swiper and Range. Variable Blind Spot. 
so it'll graze. Awesome. It can't see any acanthus plants, so it bumps into the side of the board again. This is actually quite good. Um, yeah, it's doing a lot. Well, it's it's killing people without hitting them. <laughs> it is it is the death of stress, heart attacks, mind aneurysms, the lot. You know. Um, I was correct about this being a less physical beast. Well, it's still pretty damn scary. Uh, so back to the humans. We have the berserker with the axe. Oh, come on, kill it, please, please. Well, that's two hits. One is unsurprisingly the restless tiny hands, and then we have the delicate inverted knee. There's no failure state on the knee, so we'll do the knee first. Um, I need sixes, and there's no. Wow, this is a frustrating encounter. At least if this was a lion, we'd be like all mauled to bits by now. Or, but it's it's the long drawn out nature of it. So the hands, yeah. Come on, just whoo -hoo, wounding the hands. It does not rip his weapon away and disarm him. That's good, that's good. Uh, Alistair now has his sword and will just continue to slice up his things, flanks and rear. And, okay, one and a five of five, plus one from back is six, that's a hit. At least it's not a trap card. Rest of the hoof. Um, oh god, it's a, it's a kick disarm instead of a hands disarm. Brilliant. Um, two strength on the blade. Oh, God, no. So he is disarmed again and has to spend an action next turn picking up his weapon. Great. Well, does the beast get to draw an action card this turn? Yes, it does. And it is back kick in blind spot in range. Yes, there's two of them. There's two people. I'm going to randomise this because I really want it to kick the guy who needs to pick up his weapon as opposed to the guy who um, doesn't, you know. Um, so odds and evens, I mean when there's an ambiguity you're supposed to decide in favour of the, um, whatever will be nastier for the humans. Which in this case would be the guy with a weapon to kick him away from the monster. Yeah, sod it, I'll just have to do it. It kicks at Zachary. Three plus. No. Wow. Um, I'll turn monster so targets and blind spot. Okay, that, so that's at least a good thing. So it misses. Brilliant. So these four cards are now getting shuffled. It's hard to shuffle when there's only like three or four cards left because you just know how many times you've moved them. You know, I've just got that just assume that's well shuffled and carry on well Zachary is in a berserk killing frenzy two of his friends are down he's got an axe he's out for vengeance he's out for blood he's howling he's roaring he has hit three times I just hope I don't get the trap card at this point because that is actually a danger of high-speed weapons I gave a restless shank the restless ear first strike must be struck at first and the restless flank Shank and flank, the reflex. Okay, I'll do them that way. So, the, I, the eye. He is not insane. However, he suffers one brain damage. Great. Just great. Berserk again! Ho ho! Wow. Okay, um, that was unexpected. So it is speed and strength. Speed is there, strength is... Yeah. Okay, this is good because it improves his chance of wounding on the remaining... Um, to... Yep, yeah. and... Uh, might as well carry out the attacks then. Because I'm not sure if uh, brain, you know, brain hits and brain trauma cause a physical knockdown, because it seems to be only physical wounds that do that. And while I really want to get these three attacks in that, no, you know what, I should check, but I'm pretty sure now actually. So let, let's, let's get our revenge, right? 
there's some cars left there, let's get rid of them. Um, of course I'm going to regret this now and get like so many reflex triggers. Um, so three on the three strength on the axe, two strength tokens for Berserk is five, right? Yes. He wounds it in the eye. It looked at him. He didn't care. He, he goes for the face. Right. Restless flank. Actually, that was a nine, and he has plus one luck. That's a critical hit to the eye. Um, has he? No, he has plus one accuracy. It's not a critical hit. Damn it. Right. Uh, the flank. Reflex. After the attack, turn it to face him. Fine. Just trying to kill it. Hey, another wound card. It is now facing him. Awesome. And the shank. Uh, rolling to wound again. Four plus three, four, five is nine. That is a failure to wound, so he doesn't trigger reaction. Brilliant. That, that's actually almost perfect. And Alistair picks up his sword again and moves one, two, three, four, five to box it in. Actually, no, that's kind of stupid. You know what, let's put him back. Zachary has picked up his weapon. Sorry, Zachary's had his free attacks. Let's have him move round here. And Alistair will move as well in case the creature grazes in that direction. Um, the beast gets a turn. Does it get to draw a card? Yes, it does. And it gets infested again. Oh, wow. Just, just, just wow. Okay. So it's now gone up to a massive toughness of 11. This is ridiculous. It is disgusting. Alistair. Yes. Zachary. No. Alistair suffers brain damage and gets another trauma roll. Oh, he gets Frenzy as well. This is nice. So... Accuracy, strength, and speed. Okay, so... Yes, vengeance shall be had for the death of our women. You, you killed someone with a nice name who wasn't one of the original four stag survivors, and you killed a founding member, you horrible, nasty thing that's not a stag, you, or an antelope, or a gazelle. You're an antelope, that's it. Yeah, let's kill this antelope, let's get it dead, before it can do any more damage, except it gets to draw an AI card. Oh, stomp and snort, brilliant. Random survivor in range, odds and evens, Alistair is odd. Zachary, great. On a 4+, plus, he's going to take another trauma roll. It is not a 4+. Plus. And we have two cards now. I can't shuffle two cards, right? Um, the target's insane, it's not. So I'm just going to be like, I'm just going to randomise cards at this point, because I can't shuffle them. Right, well, Zachary wants a kill. One attack, two attacks. Plus one speed, plus one speed. Let us hope. This thing can be slain. Uh, he also has plus one accuracy on his stat line, so he is hitting on fives. So that is one measly little hit to the muzzle. Hey, clubs and shields again. And Velio was going to specialise in shields as well. Damn. Well, axe attacks. Three, two strength tokens is five. Come on! No. And you know what? He is so angry and ferocious that he is going to eat the fresh acanthus to recover the brain damage he has taken so far and reduce the chance of being slain because this is, like, horrible. Right, Alistair has a... you know what? Yeah. Alistair has a sword. Oh, you know, one, two, three, four, five. Because it has... Alistair should have gone first. Oh, well because it might go this way now. 
sword attacks. Hey, he's berserk. Had that third one. Missed. Right. Well, that's two hits. The horns and the rump. Failing to win the horns is probably going to happen. Um, so go for the rump first. Uh, strength two on the sword. One for berserk is free. Failed by one, of course. Tell monster to face away from the attacker and full move in a straight line. Awesome. It turns around to go that way. Nothing happens. Right. And needing eights again. Fails to wound the horns. He is adjacent. His weapon is stuck. Uh, tugging frantically, it comes loose, but stumbling stuff and knockback back five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Brilliant. Well... It's the antelope's turn. Does it get to draw a card? Yes, it does. It has two cards. Odds and evens. Evens. Oh, good. It's not the infested card, which we really need to wound off it as quickly as we can. So go, Zachary. You are our only hope. Ah, random survivor in range. It's an intimidate. Odds and evens. Alistair's odd, again, as usual. It goes for Zachary. Brilliant. Um, four plus. No. He doesn't care. It's stomping and shouting. He's stomping and shouting and hitting it with an axe. For vengeance. For Lucy and for Velia. Come on. Let, let's get some payback. Let's murder this thing. He's even got four attacks now. Arrgh! Okay, hitting on sixes with plus one accuracy is fives is one bloody hit. Okay, one hit is all he needs, but it's so incredibly tough now. Giant teeth, super dense, so the axe will break. Brilliant. Come on, hurt it. No. He does not hurt it. Four plus two, three, four is eight out of its eleven. Yeah, we're kind of dead now, by the way, you know, so the axe is destroyed. Great, just great. Alistair will rush in and attempt to get rid of that infested card because we can't afford to have this thing keep getting tougher, otherwise it'll just be, it's practically impervious as it is, you know. And he misses of all three attacks. Great. Does it get to become impervious? No, it does not. It will just trample. One, two, three, four, five. So hey, Zachary gets knocked down, takes a point of damage to the body. Great, just just great, you know. This is about as nasty as expected, really, you know. Right. Alistair, one, two, three, four. Attack it with a sword from behind and berserk. Come on! Fives to hit. One hit. A giant mouth. Great, just, just great. Just great. Okay. Seven plus two power from the sword is nine. Is not going to wound this ridiculous toughness eleven beast. Um, he didn't roll a one or two, so it does not eat the sword. Just great. Just great. Hey, look. Zachary will stand up now. And the antelope will get to get even. No, it doesn't get tougher. Wow, it just goes... One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so Alistair's going to chase after it, hurrying it with his, his bone blade. <sighs> so many low numbers. So many low numbers. Well, the beast has been struck in the restless chest. Okay, there is a wound result, but I don't care. I just need to hurt this thing now, you know. Uh, two for the sword, three for berserk. Fails to wound the bloody animal. 
I swear, th this infested card here is, is the bane of all humans. Um, right, one, two, three, four, five, go Zachary, because it's likely to turn and stampede this way any moment. Um, actually, it's, no, it's just going to go that way, isn't it? Bloody thing. Right, monster's turn. Does it get to? Yes, it does. It gets even tougher. Oh, joy. Oh, joy. Now it's toughness 12. Um, yeah. See, this is just horrible. Um, and it's also disgusting. So, Alistair. No, Zachary. No, they do not suffer brain damage. This is great. Um, and stomp and snort. Odds and evens. Well, we know the draw. It goes for Alistair. Right. It turns and attempts to scare the shit out of him. Um, yeah. Yeah, great. So he's knocked down, suffers a brain damage, and does not die. Hey, it's not a one or a two. If that happened three times in one showdown, would just be horrific, and quite likely. So no one's been gobbled up by the big mouth. Either I got rid of that card earlier, it's like an advanced card. Um, okay, five, six, danger, seizure. Thrash about wildly, dealing one damage to yourself and every adjacent survivor. Gain a random disorder and D5 insanity. Brilliant. So, one damage to himself, two to the body. Isn't that nice? That's a heavy. And hello, little spider. And uh, D5, so five insanity. Well, it was a pretty freaky thing. And a random disorder. Great, great, just just great. You know, this monster is um, brilliant. There's a card. Prey, you are prey. All there is for you is death. You may not spend survival unless you're insane. Well, he has no survival points, but that's going to be nasty further down the line. So I'm writing down must be insane to spend survival. Wonderful. That's that's just wonderful, you know. As a shocking, horrific, horrible monster rips people off apart and scares the living daylights out of everyone, really, to be honest. Okay. Calm, Alistair, prove your worth. One, two, three, four, five. So he's going to rush to there. And now he has no weapon. This is actually... Yeah, yeah. Hitting on eights, but he has plus one accuracy, so it's sevens. So he's going to miss even more now, and deal even less damage, and get more hit reactions. Two hits. Where's that trap card? It's coming, isn't it? The furry throat, and the giant tongue. We'll go for the tongue first, alright? Because the tongue has less toughness, and might actually receive damage. Uh, four toughness tokens, puts it on toughness twelve. There's no strength there, so ten to off. Ah, no, just no damage. And since he needs to critically wound to even wound the throat, no damage there either. There are two cards here. On oh, a six plus, we'll move that one on top. Oh, for love of God. Ah. Uh, <laughs> ah, this is not going to look good when we get back to the settlement, is it? Hey, look, Alistair gets to stand up. And the monster's turn. It gets to roll and not draw a card. Instead, it just tramples over him. One, two, three, four, five. Hang on. One, two, three, four. Yes. So he is knocked down takes a point of damage. Hey, at least it's not brain damage. Feet. Well, legs. 
That's all right. Not so heavy. That's you know. Okay, okay. So human's turn. Zachary runs over here. He is angry. He is ferocious. He's out for blood. You know. He, he's trying to get rid of that AI card, whatever it is. If it's infested. Oh ho ho! If only I could roll that for damage. And he has struck the furry tail. The, oh my god, there's only four cards left. The rest is back. The ferocious spasm, which means that this is the trap card. Right on the bottom there. Okay. Um, the tail. Seven, eight, nine, no. You need tens, I mean, it's just not going to happen, is it? Right, the rest is back. That's a wound! And I believe he's got rid of the infested card. We'll only know when this one is revealed. Ah. And critical wound, persistent injury, crushed spine. Straight land squirrel monsters, squirming spine, accompanied by a sickening crunch, affects some AI cards. Okay, so no nothing immediate like the, the ear injury. And then ferocious spasm. Eight plus two strength there is ten. No damage. Okay, frantically attacks everything around it, so it'll attack him. With its default attack. Double hit. To the head and the waist. But that's okay, because he has not been struck in either of those locations so far, but the head is a heavy injury, so he's knocked down. Just brilliant. Just brilliant. Okay, monster's turn. Does it get to draw a card? It does get to draw a card, and the card is Stomp and Snort, random survivor in range. Well, we all know by now that Alistair is odd. Four plus. No. He is insane, however, so... One, two, three, four, five. Okay, human's turn. They get up at the start of the next monster turn. And once again, it will stomp and snort. Alistair is odd. <laughs> he gains a point of brain damage, so those five insanity points will dwindle slightly so slightly. And he gets a further knockback five. Three, four, five. Okay, human's turn. One, two, three, four, five. And let's get round behind it because it won't help the damage, but what am I doing? What am I doing? Why am I attacking? Oh yeah, Berserk. I don't care. You know, it's a trap card. The trap card's coming. Yep, yeah, he's hit. <coughs> he's hit the Wailing Slide. Um, oh my god. Right, one, two, three, four, five, and knocked down, and brain damage, which is, guess what? Another trauma roll. Eight. Well, it's good. You know, we've had a good run. Nobody's died up to this point, so it's good to show that the game is cruel and savage and harsh. Eight. Lunacy. Gain a random disorder and D5 insanity. Hooray! He gets insanity points. He gets two insanity points. It's better than nothing. And a random disorder. What's this? Secretive. Really? He's been like ferociously punching and kicking and biting and gouging this thing. Okay, you love secrets so much in fact you pretend to have many. When you're a returning survivor you quit become preoccupied with your own affairs. You must skip the next hunt to deal with them. Oh great. So he doesn't get to come out to play all the time. He gets to stay home a lot sometimes. Secretive. Okay, okay. So. Always miss next hunt. Okay. 
I'm going to fill in that box now because it can be permanently filled in unless he can get over his issues. And we get to shuffle the hit location deck again. I swear, this thing is so close to being nearly dead. Well, human turn. One, two, three, four, and get out of the way by one, just in case it gets up and he gets to stand up. <coughs> Monster turn, stomp and snort. Oh, it's going to try and scare Zachary. Well, yep, that's two brain damage and not down, but he just got those two points of insanity, so actually it's no brain damage and no trauma rolls for him. He's been traumatised enough as it is. Right, so, one, two, three, four, with a sword. Right, so sword and berserk. Come on, kill this beast. Two hits. Two hits is all it takes, provided we can roll ridiculously high to wound. Right. The hands and the hoof, they both disarm. The hoof is slightly nastier. Right. Plus one strength. Two from the sword is three. Eight fails to wound the hands. His weapon is knocked out of his hands, and therefore he, like, punch... Oh, God, no. Hoof first. Hoof first. Yeah. Yeah, his weapon's knocked out of his hands, no dislocated shoulder. Right, and then he will try hands on the hands. Six plus one is no. Okay, so he has to spend an action to pick it up. Right, monster turn. Does it get to draw a card? And I should have... It does not get to draw a card, so it just goes... One, two, three, four. Trample. Ah, but it can't because that's the edge of the board, so it'll just stop there. Come on. It, it's it's nasty, it's brutal, but let's give the guys a chance, eh? <laughs> Please. Right. Alistair will pick up his sword and go in here. Zachary gets to stand up. And then it's for Monster's turn again. Does it get to draw its card? Yes, it does, so it will. Go for Alistair and scare him shitless. It does. So, one, two, three, four, five. So he, 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 he was back up to there, two brain damage, but it's okay because he has um, Oh no, it's only one brain damage. Okay, so he's got three insanity points remaining. Right, human turn. Zachary's behind it, he doesn't have a weapon, he wants to kill this thing. Okay, so that's two hits. Wounding on tens. To the eye, which has first strike. He is not insane. He takes a point of brain damage and rolls on the trauma table and dies. I knew it. I knew it. Right. And Zachary will recover his weapon as he runs in to fight it. This is not looking very promising. Monster's turn. Does it get to draw a card? It does not. So it will just... One, two, three, four, five. Knock him down. Trample to the body. Oh, good. A severe injury. He's probably dead. So yeah, when I said earlier I should have probably just stuck to the lion that I know, right? And then there was the hunt event, I should have run away, didn't run away, disemboweled, great. Uh, gain one bleed, so, movement reduced by one until the showdown ends. I think it's about to end pretty soon. Gets a bleeding token, suffers disemboweled. Great. He's actually doomed to die. So, yeah, disemboweled means he needs to um, have someone else alive to carry him back to a settlement, otherwise he dies. Anyway, regardless of whether he survives or not. I don't know why I'm bothering to continue the fight at this point, because it's pretty much all over. But I do, I do, I do. I, I'm doing it in case I can win, right, because it, it, it's going to get a bit crazy soon. 
So his turn, he gets to stand up, staggering and trying to hold his guts in. Actually, no, he's probably tripping over him. He's berserk. He doesn't care. Monster turn. Does it get to draw its card? It does. Hooray. It turns around and... Yep, it does another point of brain damage. So it's free now. Um, so he, he also gets knocked back and down. Um, although now he won't happen next time. So he gets to stand up again. And it does not get to draw its cards. So it just comes one, two, three, four, five. Comes closer. So he'll go one, two, three, four. Can I kill it with a sword? Please do kill it. Because just some sense of justice here would be nice, you know. Otherwise, this has all been just a horrible misery. Um, yeah. Hit to the tongue. Oh, good. The tongue is easier to wound. He has plus one luck. And he fails to wound the tongue. Of course he fails to wound the tongue. Why would he not fail to wound the easiest hit location on the entire creature? Well, it's turn. It. Yeah. Yeah, it gets to draw a card, so it will terrify the life out of him. But he is not insane anymore, so he's not knocked down or knocked back. So he just tries to chop it up. Two hits. Two hits can kill it, except the throat and the tail. Neither have hit like hit reactions, so the throat. Uh, we have strength two, three for berserk. Nine plus three is twelve. A wound gets rid of the stomp and snort card at last. And then the tail. He slays the antelope at last. And then he dies bleeding, crawling back to camp on his own. However, he did win, right? So we get some resources. Um, even if people die, all of their, um, some other survivors come out from the settlement of Lost Hope and haul their gear back. And that seems a bit weird. It's like, but there's no one alive to carry it back. But no, they, they do get to recover it. So in a way, it's not necessarily the same pieces of gear so much as we made enough to equip a hunting party with this much gear and no more gear. So let's see. It has been a Pyrrhic victory, to say the least. Right, rewards. Four basic, four screaming antelope resources. And to, to, to add in insult to injury, Alistair, having wounded it with his sword, gets one hunt experience point and one weapon proficiency point, and then he dies. So I'm not even going to bother recording him. Um, right. Basic resources. Oh my goodness, why? Why? Why, why, why? Four basic and four antelope resources. Well, oh, where do I put them? Under the hunt cards, probably. Yes. Those evil, evil hunt cards that destroy survival points. I wonder how many other groups have had a managed to kill the monster and have all the survivors die at the end of it. That's probably pretty rare. It happened though. So resources. One monster hide. Monster organ. Monster hide. And the the um, unidentifiable. Wall. Oh my god, we don't know what this is, but we can use it as bone organ or hide. Uh, pelt, shank bone, beast steak, and screaming brain. Yeah, those are not good. Right. Uh, 
that wraps up this showdown phase. And uh, time to go to a settlement phase now.